All right, all right, all right. Hey, YouTube, I'm Lucky, and we have some serious Destiny drama that we have to cover today. If you've been living under a rock, if you haven't been on Reddit or on Twitter or any social media, every social media platform is lit on fire right now, and a lot of people are angry with Bungie. And I'm going to cover that story for you right here. So what happened was this Reddit post was posted first. It says, Bungie, yes, you can upgrade to the digital deluxe edition to uh, access the dungeons or the deluxe edition to access the dungeons. We will also add a separate access path in the future. In no way, shape or form have Bungie explicitly stated that buying the seasons pass will come with dungeons. Many are worried that their anniversary party is an experiment to see if the community will be willing to pay for dungeons as standalone. This post and others are both speculation, but both agree uh, that if you buy all the seasons, then you should get access to the dungeons and Bungie should not lock it behind yet another paywall. So this is where the controversy begins. This post gets a ton of upvotes and community manager Cosmo uh, actually responds to this on Reddit right here saying, Hey everyone, we've seen some debate around the new dungeon content and wanted to clarify how it will be delivered next year. If you get the digital deluxe edition of the Witch Queen, you will receive the expansion all four seasons for the next year and the two dungeons. If you get the standard edition, you can still upgrade to the digital or to the deluxe edition to get the dungeons later. We will also be offering a separate way for you to purchase the dungeons in the future, but they will not be included in the season passes. We will share more info on this closer uh, to when the content is set to go live. Wow. So that is crazy. A lot of people are pretty frustrated by this because basically what they're doing is they are essentially forcing people into buying the deluxe edition of Witch Queen. And if you don't buy the del deluxe edition, you don't get the dungeons, which are going to be like some of the biggest content. Like we all know if you've played Destiny for a while, the raids and the dungeons are the biggest content. Why they're separating this, why this isn't just a part of the season pass, I have no clue. It does seem a bit greedy. And that's what a lot of people have been saying. It's like, wow, I can't believe you're doing this. I can't believe you're creating yet another paywall. It seems very greedy. It seems like, you know, we've talked about this many times in the past where you know, Bungie was trying to separate from Activision to get away from the sort of greedy models that Activision creates. But time and time again, we do see that Bungie also makes very comparable decisions to Activision. And that's not to throw Bungie completely under the bus with this one, because there is two sides to the argument, of course. Uh, obviously, you're getting a lot of content for such a minimal amount of money. I think it was like $80 for the whole year. And so it's like, it, it's not a, a necessarily a ton of money, you know, if you were to spread that out across all those months. But... You know, with time, games do get more expensive. And one person did speculate, why don't they just raise the season pass costs instead? It seems very weird to separate these two and create more paywalls and create a bigger disconnect. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Is this going to drive you away from Destiny? Or are you going to be less interested in Destiny in the future if they're going to create more paywalls and essentially, you know, try to monetize this in such really odd, bizarre ways by separating the dungeons from the season pass? It seems very strange to me. Doesn't seem like the way Bungie should do things, and a lot of people are giving them a lot of flack. Now, there are people arguing the other way, you know, saying that you're getting so much content, you're getting so much, you know, time able to play in this game, so you really have no place to complain, which is a fair argument to some degree, but I can't help but feel like separating the dungeons from the season pass was a really bad move, and I think that Bungie might retract it. We'll see. I mean, the heat is on. There's a lot of pressure. If you look all across social media, look at all the replies, people are not happy at all and that is the drama from today that is the big scoop let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe with notifications on if you want to stay up to date on all the news in destiny 2 i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching later